We do not believe in hiding our wealth in the shadows. This is Orzov, and this is how we reward greatness. I'm Reed, and welcome to our In the 99 Deck Tech series. Today, we're looking at Tesa Karlov. Tesa Karlov is a 2-4 legendary human advisor that costs 2, a white, and a black. Her first ability is if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. And her second ability is creature tokens you control have vigilance and lifelink. Let's start by talking about what these triggers might be. To start off, we're going to drain our opponents to death using cards like Blood Artist, Zulaport, Cutthroat, and Anthreos, God of the Passage. To draw cards, Grim Horror Specs, Harvester of Souls, Midnight Reaper, Gate to the Afterlife, and Dark Prophecy will give us the triggers we need. We can also slightly ramp using cards like Pawn of Ulamog, Pitiless Plunderer, and Sifter of Skulls. To pair with Tesa's second ability, we're going to generate some tokens. Alenda, the Dusk Rose, Ogre Slumlord, Requiem Angel, Tesa, Orzov Scion, and Field of Souls will produce tokens when our creatures die. With all of these creatures dying, we're going to set our opponents back using Grave Pact and Dictate of Erebos. Some creatures are going to have effects as they die. We're going to ramp ourselves using Boreas Charger, Carrier Thrall, and Dire Fleet Hoarder. Draw some cards using Filigree Familiar and Solemn Simulacrum, and generate some tokens using Hollowed Spirit Keeper, Ministrant of Obligation, Seraph of the Scales, Worm Coil Engine, and Tithe Taker. In order to get back a few of our dead, we're going to use Driver of the Dead, Wake the Dead, Rally the Ancestors, Faith's Reward, and Cauldron Haze. We're also playing some cards that will allow us to sacrifice our creatures for additional benefit. Phyrexian Tower, Phyrexian Altar, Ashenod's Altar, and Priest of the Forgotten Gods will allow us to sack our creatures to produce some mana. Crab the Unredeemed and Hidden Stockpile will give us card advantage, and Attrition and Plague Crafter will help us control the board. Lastly, High Market and Westvale Abbey are two lands that allow us to sacrifice our creatures. Some other cards that we're running in the deck to round out our build, Dusk Legion Zealot allows us to draw a card when it enters, Mentor the Meek so we can draw off of all of the 1-1 tokens that we're creating, Recruiter of the Guard allows us to go grab anything with toughness 2 or less, and Skull Clamp so we can spend 1 mana to kill one of our creatures to draw cards. To help control the board, we're going to use Teferi's Protection. When our opponent tries to board wipe, we're just going to phase out our creatures and all of the tokens. Due to a ruling that came by in the summer of 2018, tokens phase in and out of the battlefield and do not get removed due to phasing. Diabolic Intent allows us to tutor our library just by sacrificing a creature and paying two mana. That's a pretty good deal for us. Now that we have our massive army of the dead, we're going to try and run our opponents down using Eldrazi Monument, Divine Visitation, Cathar's Crusade, or Anointed Procession. We have quite a few mana rocks, and the new card Smothering Tithe will produce a lot of treasure tokens that we can use as one-use mana rocks later on. Black Market, due to all the creatures dying, will quickly amass a lot of black mana for us. And lastly, if all else fails, we can revel in our riches and win that way. Let's take a minute now and talk about what's in the maybe board. Some common combos, like Ashenod's Altar plus Nim Death Mantle, or Cathedion and Blasting Station, become a lot easier to pull off because of that double death trigger. So if you're looking to make a really good death trigger combo deck, this might be the way that you want to go. Let us know about some of the cards that you think should be in the maybe board in the comments below. With this deck, we're going to be trying to abuse our death triggers, proportionally draining our opponents to death, or simply winning the game from all the ties that we are collecting. If all else fails, we will send an, our army of indentured tokens to forcefully take what is owed to us. If you're interested in seeing this list on a future gameplay video, leave a message in the comments below. You can also support us by joining our Patreon, where you gain access to a lot of cool features, like access to special content, community news, and our Discord chat. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like, tell us why, share, and subscribe. Now pay up.